Det blir gärna bra att dra upp. Kan kan Corla, I want to first of all, on my own behalf and on behalf of the Labour Party, extend our sympathy to the family, friends and colleagues of the late Garda Robbie McCallion, whose life passed away tragically yesterday. We will have an opportunity very shortly to have a long debate on the budget, on the extent to which the government has screwed working families on modest incomes, on the extent to which you have uh, put householders who are now in negative equity, taking their mortgage interest relief away from them, taking away the Christmas bonus from pensioners and other people on social welfare, and how this budget has done little or nothing to sustain jobs or to stimulate jobs uh, in our economy. But there's one particular aspect of the budget statement yesterday that I want to pursue with the Taoiseach, and it arises indeed from what Deputy Kenny has been saying. And this is the plan by the government to take all this property which represents the bad debts off the hands of the developers. The plan, as I understand it, is that the government, the government, the government will use, the government will use government bonds to take back, to take off the hands of all these property speculators and developers the half-finished the half-finished apartment blocks that we see around the place the empty hotels the empty office blocks the land that was bought at exorbitant prices on borrowed on borrowed money from the banks that represents these so-called bad debts this is what we are talking about talking about assets and bad debts and toxic debts this is the property that was bought by property speculators with borrowed money that the government is now going to buy back with government bonds at taxpayers' expense. And businesses, businesses, businesses that are pushed to, that are businesses that are pushed to the pit of their collar to keep going or whose businesses have gone under because banks won't lend them the credit that they need must wonder what these developers have that they don't have, that the government will come and take their property off their hands and relieve them of their bad debt. Now, Kan Corla, my question to the Taoiseach is this. My question to the Taoiseach is this. Not only is the government going to buy back the property that these people speculated on in this country, but it is also going to buy back the property that they speculated on abroad. The shopping centres in Britain and in Birmingham, the apartment blocks in Bulgaria, the hotels in Dubai, the retirement villages in Florida that all these people speculated upon. We are told in the questions and answers document that was circulated yesterday that this is now going to be covered and that the government is going to buy back this property with government bonds, taxpayers' expense, off all of these people. My question, Tishuk, is this. Of the 80 to 90 billion that you estimate, and that the government estimates that this property represents on the books of the banks, how much of it, how much of it is property abroad? And of the property abroad, can you tell us how much of that in turn is property that was bought by Irish developers abroad, and how much of it was bought by property developers abroad who borrowed the money from Irish banks. And can you explain, can you explain to the Irish people, it means bad enough that we're buying up all of these half-finished developments and fields around towns and villages that now won't be developed at all for, for many years, but which may have been rezoned by, your, by, by their friends on local councils. Can you explain to the Irish people why is the government buying up property abroad which was speculated upon by property developers here and by property uh, and by property developers uh, abroad and how much of the 80 to 90 billion is represented by property abroad okay, let's let's return to the question the question is how much of this property that is going to be bought up with government bonds is property abroad that's my question and I want, an, uh, I want, uh, you know, I want an explanation for it. Well, you've already, you've already, you've already estimated. You've already estimated that the total. You've already estimated that the total amount 
is 80 to 90 billion. Since the time of the bank guarantee, you've had Price Waterhouse Cooper in looking at the accounts of the, the banks. We've had more reports and studies done on the, the banks and due diligence and whatever you've had now since September to a long time to look at what the banks have or don't have and the extent of their, their bad debts and their loan books and so on. Now, Taoiseach says jobs. I agree with that. Whatever justification there may be for all of this property that was speculated on and what contribution it may have made to or might potentially have made to the Irish economy in terms of jobs, if the property is here, I can't see what contribution it's making to the Irish economy if the property is abroad or what contribution it is going to the, made to the Irish economy to have government bonds used to buy up property abroad. So I want to know, I want to know, how much of the 80 to, you know, we know it's 80 to 90 billion. I want to know how much of that 80 to 90 billion is represented by properties abroad. And I want an explanation, one explanation as to why the government is going to use government bonds backed by the taxpayer to buy up these apartments. This is news, obviously, to Minister O'Keeve, and it's clearly news. It's clearly news. It's clearly news. It is clearly news. It is clearly news. It is clearly news to a lot of the government, the government deputies. It is question two. It is question two on your own questions and answers document issued by the Department of Finance yesterday. Let me quote it to you. It says. It says. It says. Will land and development loans outside of Ireland be transferred to NAMA? The answer to the question is yes, land and development loans outside of Ireland will be eligible for transfer to, for transfer to NAMA. I can't have this the descend into farce, and I must insist that any member addressing another member does so through the chair, and in any event, no member other than no member, and I'm saying it to, I, I'm saying it to Minister Martin, I'm saying it to Minister Martin, and everybody else to whom it applies, the facts are that this is leaders' questions, and only leaders may ask questions, and the Taoiseach answers. That's the way it works. Deputy Gilmore, without interruption. Deputy Gilmore, without interruption. Here. We are here on a morning at Cancorda when working people on modest incomes are being screwed to pay back for the mistakes that Fianna Foyle have made for 12 years in government. And for six months now, for six months now, in dealing with the banks and in dealing with development, this government has been protecting and cosseting friends who brought down the Irish economy. And some of those friends, some of those friends, some of those friends have been investing and dabbling in property abroad. And guess what? They are are now going to use the Irish taxpayer and government bonds to bail out the developments, the bad debts that were incurred for developments in Bulgaria, in Dubai, in Florida, in Latvia, all over the place, none of which would have contributed anything to the Irish economy. And I want to know, I want to know, I want to know, Ken Corla, question to the Taoiseach, how much of that 80 to 90 billion is property abroad?